side this morning are definitely Instagram and social media worthy because it's a beautiful start out there. Yeah, the skies are clear, the air is crisp, dry and chilly. In fact, I was crunching some numbers. Mm -hmm. This is the coldest morning since May 30th. Really? But I feel like it feels different on May 30th than <laughs> right? it does on October 1st. <laughs> well, we're on the upswing in the springtime, right? And now yeah. we've got these cool nights, mild days, some great early October weather ahead of us. But the days are getting shorter. Temperatures are starting to cool this month. Our new Bedford camera showing off that beautiful sunrise this morning, and it's just about to peak over the tree line here in East Providence as well. So the capital city, it's 48 degrees. West winds at five miles per hour feels a couple of degrees cooler, even with that light wind. And while Providence is in the upper 40s, we've got upper 30s in some areas like Taunton. West Greenwich, Willimantic, Rehoboth, Hope Valley, all in the 30s this morning. New Bedford's at 46, Westerly and Smithfield both at 44. So welcome to October. That chill is here. We do have a mainly dry weekend. We're going to start to bring in a chance of showers on Sunday night. Out ahead of it, the clouds will be increasing Sunday. And we do have some rough surf in the forecast at the coastline this weekend due to distant Hurricane Sam, our live radar, nice and quiet this morning. A few birds taking flight. You may have seen there with a little radar activity. Our low pressure center that's brought the sun and cloud mixture the last two days is moving away while high pressure builds in. So I do expect more in the way of sunshine through the day today with those temperatures say 8 o'clock in the morning, climbing out of the 40s by 10 a.m. 55 by noon around 63 and the afternoon temperatures. They're going to be running at around the upper 60s with a nice fall day, pleasant and dry 6 o'clock in the evening. So beaches, the rip current risk today is low, but by tomorrow we're going to be to a moderate or high risk for rip currents as again, the surf will build from two to three feet today to about three to six feet for your Saturday and Sunday. On the bay, northwest winds are light. They'll stay between five and ten miles per hour. Visibility is unlimited. Skies are dry for high school football games this evening. They want to grab a sweatshirt or a fleece. I'm going down at 626 this evening. Kickoff temperatures still may be up above 60, but we pretty quickly fall into the 50s. It'll be cool tonight, but I don't expect it to be quite as cool as what we're waking up to this morning. I'm down to around upper 40s to lower 50s overnight under clear and dry conditions. So Saturday, some showers up across northern New England, but they don't come into southeast New England. We're going to be staying dry and mostly sunny. Sunday will start off with some sunshine, but in the afternoon, the clouds rolling in and by game time for the Pats will be the risk of a couple of lighter showers. The shower threat will continue to increase overnight and Monday starts off a little gloomy and it may last through Tuesday too. So for the Pats game Sunday evening, 820 temperatures in the 60s as they take the field against the Bucks. You'll want to have a rain jacket with you if you're headed to that game in the seven day forecast. We're nice and dry for Saturday. Temperatures up a bit compared to today from the upper 60s this afternoon to the lower 70s tomorrow and similar on Sunday. So slow moving frontal system going to give us the chance for some showers Monday, Tuesday. It's looking mainly dry right now for Wednesday and Thursday.